Welcome into Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler. Today we continue our run playing as Brazil. Uh, we have achieved snakes on a plane, and now we are trying to capitulate to the Germans so that we can go for, hopefully, uh, this time it will stick. Disarmed and demilitarized in the Rhineland. Hopefully. We shall see. Who knows? Whether that will happen or not. But uh, that's the goal and the hope. It does appear that we're somewhat able to get some line here. Estonia has capitulated. Feel like that should have happened a while ago. The U.S. is in the war, so maybe that will speed things up, I don't know. Go ahead and stop that. I feel like the Germans are, uh, are sitting there pretty well. So we'll just keep our forces on that. Just keep it moving. Well, in this case, not moving. We're up to seven civilian factories. I think that's the consumer goods decision I took. Uh, the war bonds. What that means is that I can use a couple more of those. Get as much oil as I can during these war bonds and uh, try to, to solidify that. Greece is uh, counterattacking, which is excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, again, I'm not really sure what we're going to be able to do with the Balkans, uh, given Hungary and Romania and all that's in the Axis, as we speak. The, the Russians are pushing back on legionary Romania, though, so that's good. They're, they're still almost about to lose Moscow. But they're, they're nowhere near the Urals, so that's really, really good for us. And if they can push back against Romania and that southern border, that's excellent. They're already down here. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see. Now, this, the little snake is finally gone. They've, that encirclement complete. But yeah, this is wonderful to see for, from the Russians. Uh, again, if, if, if that can be taken out, if anything can be done to solidify the southern line, um, that will help us, I think. You think you can take it? Go. I just I don't think you're going to be taking it anytime soon. All right, we're we're pushing where I hoped to push. Um, yeah, there's the fall of Moscow. Uh, we're just trying to get to the edge of this this Alpine line because that's a solidified, uh, impassable terrain. Unless you're Hannibal. I know Hannibal came over here. Um, so there's that. I wish that, I wish that we could, uh, justify against, uh, Vichy France, but we're likely to get kicked out of the Allies if we do that. We have to wait for, for England to decide that it's time. Come on, stop this nonsense. I want the UK's diplomacy menu to see what they're doing here. Yeah, we're, we'll have to wait for them to decide it's time to uh, to attack Vichy France. I don't know when that'll be. By the way, we're down to 41 factories. Uh, but we don't need air production anymore, so let's get uh, technology sharing instead. Yeah, Greece is, is suffering. All right, you don't think that that's going to be helpful at the moment. Admittedly, it probably won't be. We've, we've got them set up where they are for a reason. 51% of the way till skill six. Keep going. Yeah, we've, we've got this line solidified. It's just a matter of pushing it. Uh, 
Gorilla Fighter. No, I don't want that. Just a matter of pushing that line. Um, let's go War Economy, just War Economy. The fall of Manila! So, as, as good as things are going over here, they're going just as poorly over there. <laughs> I like how the number's going up, but it's red. The number's going up, come on. Um, I wish I could uh, attack, but I don't have the... Uh, Command power cost. Oh, the unit leader is sick. I actually do have the command power cost. It's just the unit leader is sick. Well, that number's still going up. We're going to keep it going. We're March 42. We have 150% to just keep that speed going. Let's just keep it doing. Again, I, I, I'm so tempted to just say, oh, let's just get to the hungry border and then we can turn, but we can't. <laughs> we can't turn at that point. Oh, well. If we can get to the end of the Alp line, though, we can force the Germans. I guess the Germans are already manning a lot of this over here, so. Kind of is what it is. Uh, the planes actually are, are not doing too badly. Doesn't look like we're actually facing very many enemy planes at all in any of these regions. I'm wondering if one thing we could do is is uh, trying to get those armored trains. They still think that this is beneficial for us to run. They still think we have an inferior enemy over here. It's just that that impassable terrain that's getting us. But yeah, I think we can like put pressure on that area. Um, if we can swing around the other side. The Philippines have capitulated. Dark times indeed. How is this going over here? And not too bad. China's holding out. Um, the Indochina front is not great, but China's holding out. The Philippines has fallen, but the Dutch East Indies is not. No, we're not. We're not doing too bad. We're doing better than they were in real life. And the Russians continue to hold Stalingrad, the new capital, probably a better capital anyway. All things considered, yeah, that, that number is still high. It's just red. I think we're, we're doing okay on it. Question becomes, what do I want to actually do when this line is taken? Let's see if you can't get this. Because with this many British divisions around and a couple of Italian divisions around, we might be able to actually change some of that. And we could even take some of these divisions over, although we've turned to green now. I like green. Do we have anyone in the Alps anymore? Yes. Alpine region. Obviously we have people in the Alps, but do we have anyone in the Alpine region? So, yeah. Because, yeah, if we can take this river, that's an okay defensive position, and we might be able to turn, and the British should be able to fill the, the space.
Germans are lining up over here. So I'm wondering if, you know, British have a ton of divisions in, in the mainland as well. I'm hoping for a D-Day to happen relatively soon. Um, obviously, you know, 1942, that's, that's early for it, but, you know, Italy's gone already. That didn't happen yet. Greece needs, needs some relief. Greece is about to fall. Uh, D-Day is happening as we speak. Speak of the devil and it shall come. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a successful D-Day, but it is happening. That would be excellent. That would pull a lot of pressure off of me over here. We're up to 93. If we can break through right there, get to this river, we can spread out, which I think is going to be really, really helpful if we can get it done. Unrestricted submarine warfare, except for the one restriction that matters, which is having... Subs. Let's go ahead and uh, have you convoy raid up over here. I know there's not a lot of ports, but it might still help. Like that one unit's going to wind up winning and, and just be slaughtered. All right, we can uh, go down one factory in oil. I'm going to go ahead and go up that factory in steel, though. Uh, we're still trading poorly in planes. For whenever they're there. Look at the 1,500 fighters. <laughs> are, uh, are fighting. It should be mostly Germans. They are. Uh, we have 83 planes on that, that front. And we are taking some out. It is mattering. Seventy percent. All right. Um, I think we. Uh, I think we start doing the nineteen forty three industry ahead of time. Getting some production going. But yeah, the Germans, the the pressure that we're able to put right now is strong, and uh, that's that's helpful. Hey, we have a uh, thing we can do here. He's level three now, so that's good. Now we're starting to get some red defensive bubbles. I don't like that. just break through but I understand what's happening and why we can't but still if we could just break through <laughs> it's the the uh, the British general that is is uh, there some uh, planes are being shot down in support over here which is intriguing. I don't think it's ours. Hey, it landed. It's got a port. D-Day's happened. And the best way I think that we can support D-Day over there is to just continue to push over here. But strange that it lands in the lowlands. Uh, successfully. That would be nice. If Vichy France could turn, if we get enough free France to turn Vichy France, that would be huge. Huge, huge, huge. Think about in the last couple of episodes, taking out one of their majors and bringing back one of ours. 
though the uh, the Italian forces over here and the British forces over here are not being very successful in holding on to Yugoslavia. Good, you are helping with that. We're up to 92 in a green bubble, but it's just, it's not going to matter. It's just not going to matter. Hey, we broke through. We broke through over here. Take that gun. Can we take the gun? No, uh, it's it's escaping. The gun keeps escaping. Oh, we've taken the gun. We have an artillery gun. Yes, that'll help. <laughs> that will help. And now we are we are pushing. We actually pushed. They've pushed beyond the river line that I was going for. And I think I'm going to push beyond that river line too, because see if we can't uh, cause some issues to Hungary. Okay. Halt then. I'm actually uh, no you yeah you go there. I want you to come up here. See if we can't cause issues just to uh, there then. Why, why don't you have... I, I've assigned you to an army. Do I have to do anything? Right click on a commander portrait. Yeah, you're assigned to an army. Fight. Oh, we don't have the uh, railway connected yet. Well, that's okay. We shall work on that. Can you not just go straight across? Okay. And nothing has pulled anything off of that over there, so, uh, you know, that's a little problematic. I do want this at least to go away. We've, we've stretched ourselves too thin over here. We do require aid. And uh, we have done so at a couple of risks that have just uh, not panned out. For sure. Because we have failed to uh, capitulate uh, Slovakia or Hungary. In fact, we barely even touched core Hungary. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Hey, Lendlis! I like that. The United Kingdom and the United States are both fabricating on Vichy France. Anyone want to protect Italy from Vichy France then? No? That's fun. Uh, 
Um, no, we shouldn't go that far. We should do the river line, because again, we're not that strong. The Brits do have some units here that should be able to protect against all of that. The railway gun's working now. Alright, you gotta get up there, then. Get over there. fallback line of uh, here. And meanwhile, uh, we're going to take this edit. To there. And we're going to take all of you and you and we're basically retreat from uh, that and we're gonna try to get back over here to the Alps and hopefully that will work and re-solidify I hope yeah get out of there the Brits can, can take that land and keep it awesome, but uh, I'm not anticipating that that's going to actually happen. So, <laughs> we're going to uh, change our, our tactic here a little bit. Good, the atomic research is done. Alright, we have full oil. back up a couple. Part of that is the planes that we're losing. Still think we need all of the uh, stuff we're doing on it, though. We can take five of them. We're going to put them up there. Again, if the Brits manage to hold that, fantastic. But I'm not, not betting on it. Let's put it that way. What do I actually want to try to move? Just try and take this uh, mountain range right here. I think whenever you think you can take it, awesome, but for now I'm betting that we're going to be defensive. A lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, we've lost some of our, our military factories that we were using. find it to be intriguing why we lost those yeah we'll worry about the steel in a minute we can still do one fewer Obviously, we're going to need that later when we get the factories back, but I'm kind of curious what's going on with that anyway. We're not losing any. 
Obviously, we, we had some at one point. Um, you know, at one point we had some uh, from the occupation of Italy, but didn't think we had that many. So, yeah. Um, the UK is justifying against Vichy France. It'll be done on the 31st of August. We'll be ready. In the meantime, we continue to fight over there. But this is the this is the moment. Uh, this is the last one I'm recording in October. So uh, we'll pick this back up. Uh, assuming some patch hasn't destroyed things, we'll pick this back up for me in a month and a half. So hopefully I'll remember what's going on and. Uh, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll uh, not have problems with that uh, on that front. But uh, I've been talking about the gaming, so this is the point where you can leave a comment and I might get to it relatively soon. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you next time.